What's going on guys? Welcome back. It is me, Jamal B. Stein, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Monday on my channel, so you already know what that freaking means, y'all. It is Mug Monday, which is when I take a mystery mug from you guys, and I use it to inspire a beat for this mug right here. Y'all already know what's about to go down, what's about to go happen in the hood, you know what I'm saying? If you've been paying attention to my last few episodes, you've noticed that I've been experimenting with my eyebrows and different foundations. I definitely already primed with Milk Makeup's Hydro Grip Primer, love this stuff. And I also used NYX Cosmetics Concealer in the color orange. To get to the title, I'm doing an entire face of Juvia's Place, y'all. Now, I know what you're thinking. Jamal, I know you're supporting black brands, like you already did Juvia's Place video. Well, the funny thing is, Mug Monday episode 11 was supposed to be my full face of Juvia's Place video, but I think I got really excited with the red and the blue, and I was like, oh, I need a purple lip, and I saw Jeffree Star's Blow Punny sitting right there in my repertoire. And it wasn't until after I finished filming and finished taking my photo op pictures, I was like, that was supposed to be a Juvia's Place lip. And I have literally like three, four Juvia's Place liquid lipsticks and glosses that they need to be used. So we are gonna do this video whether y'all like it or not. Plus, I thought it'd be a good chance to switch from my Juvia's Place I Am Magic foundation and switch to da, 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 foundation sticks. Now, if you guys don't know what foundation sticks are, they are what pretty much like the name. They're foundation in stick form but they are a creamy base and tend to be much thicker. What's so interesting about foundation sticks, especially the foundation sticks that was released by Juvia's Place, is that they come in such an array of shades that you can pick your foundation, your highlight, and your contour using sticks. So that's what I'm gonna do today to make this video a little more interesting compared to using my typical Juvia's Place base. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna swatch them for you guys really quick. So for my foundation color, I picked the shade Guinea. She's a little light, but I've noticed that I actually should go a little more light with my foundation. For my highlight, I'm gonna use Adis Ababa, which is only slightly lighter, but as you can see, it definitely has more of a yellow undertone to it. Then lastly for my contour, I went with the shade Tunisia, which is a semi deep dark color. But yeah, so these are the three shades that I'm working with today. Hopefully they work. Before we get too lost in the makeup, let's see what mug we have today. So this mug is from the Kim box. So we have another Christmas bag here. Again, I got a lot of these mugs around Christmas time. Matter of fact, all the Kim boxes I got at Christmas time. So most of them are gonna be in Christmas bags and I'll probably have them for months to come. Per usual, can't see inside the bag. We have another, oop, backwards, grandma mug. We have some grapes and what looks like to be a pear. Very old fashioned styled mug here but it looks like we're gonna be doing a lot of greens, yellows, and purples today. So since this is the full face of Juvia's Place, I will be limiting myself to my Juvia's Place palettes. And I do have two Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes here. The first one being the Nubian 2, which I did use in Mug Monday episode 11, that has an array of colors there. Then I have the Zulu by Juvia's Place palette which also has a very bright array of colors. So I'm gonna start taking my foundation stick by Juvia's Place in the shade Guinea and just put a few lines here. So a lot of tutorials using these sticks, a lot of people do put all three down in one go and just blend it all together. But I don't feel comfortable doing that. So I'm gonna do it one by one and see where it goes. Cause what I would hate to do is apply all three and then once I blend them all together it looked like a hot freaking mess. Okay guys I think I actually did get my foundation match like I'm really proud of myself like and I did not swatch this in the store. I really looked at the shade and looked at the undertones and I was like this looks like my skin this looks like my foundation color and I am thoroughly impressed like it doesn't even look like I put anything on I mean in the monitor Hey, gorgeous. All right, so let's go ahead and apply my highlight and my contour. So I say with creams, it's better to use brushes. So I am going to use brush number five, blend it all out. 
Now I'm gonna apply some setting spray. Do what Mama Jackie Anna taught me and you press that jump in. And looking at the final product, you guys, I am impressed. Like, I'm not mad. <laughs> I look good. Props to me and Juvia's place. Props. I could literally walk outside right now and I wanna know if people would realize I'm wearing makeup. I mean, they probably would. I'm just hoping they will. Let me just blend it with a sponge a little more and then put some powder and like, we're good to go, honey. It's good to go. Of course, taking my setting powder in the shade Gobi from Juvia's Place I Am Magic Setting Powder Collection. I'm just going to gently dab a little bit of powder. If you guys remember Mug Monday season one, I would bake all the time. Like that was what everybody was supposed to do. You have to bake. When in reality, you don't have to bake. Like you don't have to bake. Like setting powder to set the highlight and applying it with, applying a little bit with a sponge or a brush is one thing, but you don't have to let it sit on your face and like, really lighten it up, you know what I mean? Like, not everybody needs that. And I feel like as somebody like me, who does have dry skin, it probably is not a good idea anyway. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And everybody in between. Okay, so like I said, we got greens, purples, yellows, and we got some fruits. Why that grape look like a butt though? Forget a peach, y'all need this grape in your life. I'm gonna take my M513 brush, I'm gonna hop into the Nubian 2 palette. I'm gonna go into Morocco and I'm gonna blend my contour from my nose into my eye socket just to make that dimension more realistic. So it's not just two lines on my nose. I'm then going to jump into Madagascar, Madagascar in the Nubian 2 palette to start defining my creasy crease. Staying with the Nubian 2 palette, I'm gonna jump into Kenya, and I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna start really putting where I'm going to cut the crease, because guess what, y'all? Lee's doing another cut crease today. Or maybe more of a cut crease illusion? I'm gonna say it again. Now using brush M321, I'm going to go into Nairobi, which is this gold color. I'm gonna apply that to the center of my lid. I'm going to create a halo crease effect without actually using the concealer to do the halo grace. You know, you know what I mean? Now using the same palette and the same brush, I'm going to Yaw, which is like a copper-like shimmer shade. I'm gonna apply that on both sides of Nairobi on my lid. Ah, uh, and see how gorgeous that is? Ooh. So since there is so much green on this mug, I do wanna add kind of like a green liner effect. So I'm going to Jeffree Star's Glow Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mistletoe, and I'm gonna take my e.l.f. concealer brush, and I'm just gonna take a little bit off the applicator. I'm just gonna start. Yeah, let's try a liner brush and a shadow maybe? So back to the Nubian 2 palette, I'm gonna go into Egypt, which is a darker green color. I'm going to use that to see if I can trace over, trace over that line of green I used using the velour lipstick. Now sticking to that liner brush and that shade, I am gonna also add that to my bottom lid as well. Now just to buff that out a little bit, I am gonna chop into this 
It looks very aqua on here, but I swear it's like a teal color. So it does have a hint of green. And I am going to add that underneath the shade Egypt on my bottom lid. Then for my Intaquanta, I'm gonna take my M507 brush and hop into Zuri from the Nubian 2 palette. And I'm going to directly point to the contour, wither in the contour, and then boom. We have that in a highlight. But I don't like it that much, so I'm going to get the it. And that is one eye done. So as usual, I'm gonna go off camera and do the other eye. I'll probably fix up my stash while I'm there and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I am back with the other eye done. And this is the part where we get a little create heel. So, so I'm gonna take Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in Mistletoe again. And I'm going to take the same brush, the Elf Concealer brush, and I'm going to like draw a vine from my eye. I'm just going to link it to underneath my eye and start drawing it down my face. Before we get creative, I almost forgot. Jumped ahead of myself. Whew, I'm glad I caught myself. We need to do blush and highlight. So since it is a purple look, I'm actually gonna go into Jezebel, which is a very plum color. I'm gonna take brush number three from my Will Perfection brush set, and I'm gonna really dig in there and just lightly Press some into my face right here. I'm going into Julia's Place Loose Highlighter in the shade Nefertiti. So let's see. Okay, now back to the art. Next, we have our little grapes. So for the grapes, I'm gonna take a large concealer brush that I often use for painting. I'm gonna take my flash color palette from Makeup Forever. I'm just going to dip into this fuchsia-like color. Paint the top of one of my previous place lips, but I'm gonna use it to create perfect circles on my face. I went a little crazy on the grapes. Think brush number 18 with the Real Perfection brush set. I'm gonna jump into this very purple color in the Zulu's palette. And I'm pretty much just gonna color in all of those and I'm not going to really color in one by one because since there's two different colors here, the lighter fuchsia color will definitely act as the highlight and the powder will definitely act as the inside of each green. And just to make it look more realistic, I am gonna draw a few more vines. Take our liner brush from earlier, which is number 21 in my Real Perfection brush set. I'm gonna go back into Egypt and I'm going to trace, or I guess you could say set, that liquid lipstick with Egypt. Now for my lips, I am gonna take Juvia's Place Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Yoko to outline my lips. Then I'm going to use the matte liquid lipstick in the shade D2 to color them in. Then to finish off look, I am going to use Kiss New York the lashes in the style sequin. To make this look officially pop off. All right, and with that, this is the final look. Thank you again to Kim for submitting that box of mugs. Most of these episodes don't have been possible without your generous submission. Just a friendly reminder that Mug Monday is every Monday right here on my channel, noon PST. Monday evening slash Tuesday, I'll post a photo op of this look where you guys can go like, retweet, share. And one of those places will also be my Instagram story where we can bopper flop this look and see if I need to redeem myself or was this, you know, <laughs> good enough to please the gods or not. If you want to sneakity peekity in my personal life, feel free to follow me on Snapchat and Twitter. But if you want to stick to the more glamour highlights of my life, feel free to follow me on Instagram. All social media handles are at Jamal B. Stutton, handle universal. So until next Monday, guys, don't be a bum, sugar plum.
Watch another video. You know you got nowhere to go. So just please watch another video. Don't act so slow. Watch another video. Click that link down below and watch another video.